Good morning to you on this Saturday morning. Today we're going to begin Proverbs chapter 22. I'm going to read the first four verses on life and conduct. A good name is to be more desired than great wealth. Favour is better than silver and gold. The rich and the poor have a common bond. The Lord is the maker of them all. The prudent sees the evil and hides himself. But the naive go on and are punished for it. The reward of humility and the fear of the Lord are riches, honour and life. A good name is to be more desired than gold or silver, than riches. You can be very rich and have a bad reputation, have a bad name. A good name, a good reputation, to be known as an honest and kind and nice person is far better than to be rich. Your reputation speaks of who you are. As God's children, we should have a good name, a good reputation. The rich and the poor have a common bond. God created us all. He created every single human being. And that's why we need to treat every human being with respect. The Lord has made us all. And all of us should honour and thank God. Everything we have, our very life, is a gift from Him. The prudent sees the evil and hides himself, but the naive go on and are punished for it. The prudent, the wise person, the one who walks with God and walks in His ways, listens to the inner voice, has his conscience trained, listens to the voice of the Holy Spirit, heeds the warning, thinks about the consequences of every action. The fool, the naive, they just rush in. What's the old saying? The fools rush in where angels fear to trip. Let's aim for wisdom. Let's be wise. Let's listen to the prompting of the Holy Spirit. The reward of humility and the fear of the Lord are riches, honour and life. In other words, blessing. Blessed is the person who fears the Lord. Fear of the Lord, beginning of wisdom. Fear of the Lord is a life that is a life of blessing. God loves to bless us. He owns everything. He loves to give to us. He loves it when we fear Him, when we walk in His ways. Let's now thank Him for this new day and ask His blessing over it. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we bow our heads before you in the precious name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. We thank you for a night's rest. We thank you for a working week that has now ended as we enter the weekend. We ask your blessing over these couple of days. We ask, Lord, that you would lead us and guide us, help us to find some time for some rest and refreshment. Lord, we thank you that you are continually teaching us, moulding us, shaping us, showing us your way. Your way is the best way. Thank you, Lord, that a good name is far better than riches. We pray that you would help us to conduct our lives in such a way that we do have a good name and a good reputation, that we are honest, that we are faithful and truthful in all the things that we do. We recommit ourselves to you and ask that you would lead and guide us with your Holy Spirit. We thank you for the Holy Spirit who lives in the heart of every believer. We thank you, Lord Holy Spirit, that you are continually teaching us, shaping us and moulding us. Help us to live this day to the full, loving you, loving our neighbour as ourselves. Lord, help us to be kind to everyone that we meet. Help us to be the best version of ourselves that we can be. We pray for our government and those in authority. We pray that you would give them wisdom, help them make right decisions. We thank you, Lord, for the freedoms that we are now beginning to enjoy again here in New South Wales, and we pray for those who are still in despair. We pray for the sick, the dying, and all who are in need. We pray for someone that doesn't know you yet, Lord, because a life that is not lived trusting in you is a life lived in bondage. So, Lord, we ask that you would set them free. And now we combine all of our prayers in the great prayer that you have taught us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, I pray that you have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you tomorrow for our online service. Have a wonderful day. God bless.